in a park with two headliners down, if Big Thunder doesn't open with the park, this is what the line looks like 10 minutes after it's been open. I got a fast pass. I figure I'll come back when the yeah. queue is open. Maybe some of this will be down a little, but uh, I may just end up feeding the fast pass might be my only ride today because it is packed here. In fact, I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to go do a little Main Street shopping because there's a lot else I can do right now. A lot of things don't open the first hour. So if the Big Thunder queue is not open when you get to it, go to the Fast Pass machines because this is the queue. It's amazing. It could fill up that quick, but it is their busiest week of the year. This, that would be like their Space Mountain and Pirates being down. It would be like Space Mountain Pirates and Splash being down in Florida because they don't have a splash here. They don't have as many ways to take the pressure off. So right now Phantom Manor is going to have a huge line. Phantom Manor doesn't stay up a lot. It goes down several times a day. I, I, I got in line one time yesterday when there was like a five minute wait. Well, it had just reopened. That's why there was only a five minute wait. By the time I got exited the ride, we had stopped three times while I was on the ride and people were backing out of the queue. They were turning them around and closed the ride again uh, by the time I got off. So. Uh, Phantom Manor has its ups and downs. I, I had another ride that I didn't they have any uh, ride stops on, so, you know, it's uh, not always like that, but it's been down quite a few times that I've sent in the time I've been here this week. And in a park that's, like I said, having their busiest week of the year and has two headliners down, that's kind of rough on them. I don't know. I've been thinking of this as the Frontierland Arcade because it connects to the uh, Liberty Arcade behind Main Street. It has these posters that are Frontierland related. Cowboy Cookout, Phantom Manor, Lucky Nugget Saloon, and so on. Big Thunder Mountain. And right here it connects to the Liberty Arcade that runs behind Main Street. Souvenir shopping won't be too busy right now, so uh, snap a few shots to send to my sister. She's looking for something. She just doesn't know what it is yet. <laughs> well, while we're here, though, let's go in this little display in the Liberty Arcade. A little hidden away thing. There's not a whole lot to it. Well, first off, I love this tile up here. Got the Think about the unveiling of the Statue of Liberty here. Relive the grand spectacle. France's gift to America. Auguste Bartholdi's famous statue, Liberty Enlightening the World, as it happened on, in New York Harbor on October 28, 1886. And you've got these beautiful tile inlays. The Statue of Liberty. And the Dessa 1886 the Statue of Liberty, four of those around the corners. And then New York Harbor, with Liberty standing there. And a fairly simple display. Static figures. Standing in the railing of a uh, ship, and you can see we've got a ship railing in front of us. Side wheeler in front of us is called the Liberty. 
a, a walking beam slide wheeler with a thing on the top that works back and forth to turn the paddle. And behind it, you see the outline of the Statue of Liberty. Now, I've stood here through a cycle of this show, thinking that it would light up at some point, but it, it doesn't. Uh, Liberty never really gets any brighter. It's just, uh, it's the way it was when it actually happened. No, it's okay. Anyhow, the whole loop's only about two minutes. The fireworks go off and then they all get quiet for a minute and it starts back over. So like I say, there's not a whole lot to it, but it's, it's nice. Projection effect of the tide, it looks like. Of course, you have the spilling wheel of the side wheeler and the uh, working uh, walking I didn't keep track of where it was when I came in, but I think we probably already looped. It's pretty short. And I talked over it, so this wouldn't be a great one for listening to the loop anyway. 